Now lately we've seen many beggars on this app taking shit way too far. But this thing right here took TikTok begging to a whole nother level. Let's get into it. Meet Kanisha Davis, aka Kiki. It's giving that thing on Lord of the Rings. Y'all remember him? Now old girl here is a seasoned TikTok beggar. I mean she's been at this for years. Now back when she first started begging, Kanisha managed to get a lot of sympathy on TikTok because she said that she had cancer. Today I found out that I had a miscarriage. I also found out I had vaginal cancer. If I do not do treatment, I have, they gave me an estimate of three years to live. Now, Kanisha would often post pictures like this in her hospital gown on her Facebook and her TikTok page, and she would ask people to donate money. Now, the internet started to grow suspicious when Kanisha's cancer stories kept changing. One minute, she would say that she had vaginal cancer, and the next minute, she would come back and say that she had skin cancer, and things just were not adding up. Now, unable to take all of the pressure, Kanisha did finally come out and admit the truth that she never did have cancer, that she lied. So I saw somebody asking about the cancer. What what, what was the story behind that? The story behind that question, what people was asking is, yes, I did lie about it in the past, and I know it makes me a shitty-ass fucking person for lying about it. I guess you said back you then when three, I was younger... You said you had three years to live. I guess back then I just really wanted attention from everybody. That's just me being honest with you guys. And since that was exposed, Kanisha knew that she had to come up with another way to make money. And so her next and most popular scam was she started telling her followers that she was pregnant and posting pictures like this. And it was a family affair because not only was Kanisha lying, but her mama was lying with her. Now, it also was not unusual for Kanisha to post pictures like this on her Facebook and her TikTok pages. And of course, she would go live to ask her followers to send her money so that she could get to her OBGYN appointments. But after months went past and still no baby, Kanisha did finally admit that she was never pregnant. Now, a few months ago, Kanisha came under fire from Reddit and TikTok when it was discovered that Kanisha was living in a house full of dead animals. Now, to my knowledge, there were multiple dead cats and dead dogs all throughout the house and even in the backyard. Now, there were a lot of allegations floating back and forth on Reddit and TikTok that Kanisha and her housemates had neglected these animals. Now, if faking cancer and fake pregnancies and dead animals wasn't enough, recently Kanisha came under attack once again for the condition of her home. Now, I'm going to let this clip play, y'all, and I'm warning y'all, this is not easy to watch. This is absolutely disgusting. Yeah, begging for cigarette money, but you should be begging for money for cleaning supplies because that's absolutely disgusting. And on top of all of that, Kanisha has been known to post weird and disturbing things on her social media account. Pause and read. Now, over the years, we have watched Kanisha do some pretty disturbing stuff on social media. Now, a lot of people do really need help. And there are people out here who are unfortunately really suffering from cancer. And so when you have a human being like this, who has faked having cancer, who has done all of these things, faking multiple pregnancies, all of this just to try to get people to feel sorry for her and send her donations. It's absolutely disgusting. So if you see her come across your FYP, do yourself a favor and run.